Good morning, guys. Welcome to my Monday morning rant for Monday, the 27th of June. So I have been doing a shit ton of gaming. Um, I've been playing a lot of Diablo Immortal. I am now part of a huge clan. There's like almost 100 members. Um, I met them because... Uh, one girl was super active in the chat in game, and I just thought, as much as um, I love it that I'm on a clan that's related to my Destiny 2 clan on there, the guys that are um, a part of the Destiny 2 clan very rarely play, and uh, I just wanted to get involved with people who are on it a lot. And I'm on it a lot. So um, I reached out to her and uh, she added me to a clan. And turns out there's some really nice people on there. Which is not a surprise, right? I mean, you've got 100 people. There's going to be some good people on there. Um, quite a few people are older than me, which is surprising. And uh, a few girls on there too, which is always super cool. And um, they're really competitive. They're trying to be up there in the top 10 of the leaderboard. And part of the prerequisite of being on this clan is that you do take part in the weekly um, war against uh, other people on the server. So we've done that. Uh, I've been involved in that. I'm not too into playing other players, but uh, the way the game's designed is it doesn't really feel like that. And... Um, had two wars for the first time last week, and we are in the top 10 this week. So it's been interesting. Um, uh, it's a diverse group of people. Um, and one interesting topic that was brought up was kind of the fact that some of these guys are paying to win a little. Some, some have spent like you know, four four hundred dollars or so, and some have spent. Uh, one guy spent a thousand, but they're up against people who have spent way more than that. And uh, me and my big mouth, I couldn't help but bring up that I think it's interesting that even if you're paying to win, you still think you're winning against people who are paying a shit ton more. And sure, you are. It must, it must feel good, right? It always feels good to be the underdog. Um, a great analogy is, you know, someone who goes to the racetrack in a car that they've spent $5,000 on versus the guy in the half a million dollar exotic Italian sports car. And, um, you can beat that guy in that sports car. You know, you can, you, with the, with the beater car, with skill, you can quite easily beat someone who has no skill but has all the money in the world and has the most expensive and fastest car in the world. And um, yeah, it feels good. I'm sure it feels good, but I uh, question whether... Uh, I question what the point of that is. It's like, I get it in a computer game that someone who pays to win, their primary goal is to win. But would that person that spent 10,000 or a hundred thousand dollars in a game that gets beaten by someone who has spent less than them or if they were to get beaten by someone who hasn't spent a single dollar so they get beaten by someone who's got an am am amazing skill set would that person that's spending tens of thousands of dollars be upset about it and I think that's what I'm interested in I don't think that just because people who are millionaires that spend money on stuff to win at life are really bothered or affected by uh, getting beat by someone who has less money. It's almost like people with heaps of money don't even care about people with no money. And uh, I know I know people with money that have spent uh, their money on silly things and... the. I don't think they're necessarily competitive. I think they just move on um, to the next thing, you know, whenever they're not having fun, which is the way it should be, right? But um, 
but yeah, it's an interesting discussion. And like, you know, if you are paying at all, do you deserve the rights to brag about being someone who's paying more? Um, I don't know. It's almost like the way I look at life, it's just pay to win. And the people who are paying to cheat life, um, deep down, they probably know that they're not winning anyway. Uh, so yeah, interesting discussions. There's no heat. I think. Um, I think. Ultimately, uh, I'm I'm playing with a bunch of mature people, and they don't look at me as being a troll. I'm just asking some questions and posing some questions. Um, I'm not singling anybody out. Um, and I think. Ultimately, it's like well. Do whatever makes you feel happy. You spend your money on stuff. It doesn't really matter what you spend it on so long as you're happy. And yeah, I totally agree with that. But I also, it's it's quite obvious to say that I can't help but judge, right? Like I don't, I don't want to speak for everybody, but like, like it's, it, it's hard not to judge. Like if someone spends $10,000 on a, on a computer game, I just think like that's fucking crazy. I, I could go, I could go a step further and think that's stupid. But then I also know that, hey, well, fuck, $10,000 that that person might feel like a dollar or, um, I mean, even if it was bad, even if, if, even if it, you know, it's just like people who are addicted to drugs and you know it's, logically, you know it's not good for you, but um, do I think they're stupid for it? Um, I think it's more complicated than that. And it's, it's really easy to judge and it's... Um, you can totally understand why people come out and say things that offend other people without thinking. Because, yeah, if you really think about it, it is each to their own. Uh, but, um, you know, w when you get to a point where you feel like you have something to say on the matter, if you keep your mouth shut about it, well, yeah, that's fine. That's great. But I have a problem with that <laughs> and I uh, end up opening my big mouth. And uh, d like I said, I don't mean to ever uh offend anybody but um sometimes i can't help but ruffle up the feathers because i'm curious i'm curious to see what other people think um but yeah that's that's been really good just to be part of that group uh the girl who i reached out to turns out she's a graphic designer she's based in new zealand and um We've been playing some of the game, just us two on, on Discord as well. And it's been good to chat to someone who, she works from home. So her and I are more alike than uh, she probably realizes in that uh, when you do work from home as a creative, it's difficult to get motivated sometimes. Um, and, uh, you know, being a creative person, you just you can't help yourself. You're just uh, sometimes lazy, sometimes driven, sometimes obsessed, uh, sometimes emotional, definitely. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's, it's been fun. It's been fun. Um, I have also been really busy editing photos that I took with uh, Miss Daisy Liu last week. So we shot over last weekend. So I've got a shit ton of photos to edit. And I am shooting today as well, later on, with an escort from Melbourne. I think she's from Melbourne, but she's jumping off the plane and heading straight to my place. Um, so that'll be cool. And uh, Viv arrived back from London, I think last night. Um, so miss her and we'll be catching up with her on Wednesday. We'll be shooting as well. And also catching up with Leslie from Finding Space. Leslie uh, invited me to Signature Sound, which is this uh, community of writers who have a massive focus on listening. And I um, did another Zoom call with those guys last week. And they have a new project where they're releasing a book. So whilst I've been published many times as a graphic designer and my work has been published and I have created books too. Um, I've never really published a book on writing. So it's going to be, uh, 
it's going to be good. I'm really excited about it. Um, the theme of the book is what do you sound like when you speak? And uh, I love it. I think it's a great question. Um, it, I instantly think to all the times where I've recorded my voice even as a kid and I fucking hated listening to my own voice. I still do. And I think that's an obvious thing. But the more I think about the question, what do I sound like when I speak? I think, um, I think it's a lot like when, you, when you're a guitar player, you can, you, can, you can throw an amazing guitarist who's had years and years of experience and you can throw them, on, uh, you can throw them a, 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 like a $50 guitar and they'll sound good. Um, they have a nice tone. And I think guitarists are constantly chasing tone. And marketing for guitar products like pedals and sound effects and stuff, they have a field day with it because they know guitarists are chasing tones. So they sell you um, guitars and amps and, and a sound, sound effects and all, all this guitar pedals and everything that will give you amazing tone. But if you are playing badly or if you haven't, if you, ha if you can't play well, then it doesn't matter how much gear you've got. Uh, you'll still have shit tone. And tone is in the fingers. So, uh, I think that's probably going to be the way I'm going to attack this bit of writing. And how my tone over the years with the guitar has gotten better. And um, at the same time, it can always keep getting better. Like it's like it's like I'm a student for life, right? And I think it's the same thing with um, how I speak. I think uh, it's in in a state of constant change, and um, something that I'm working on all the time. So um, that'll be great. Uh, so catching up with Leslie. Um, on, on Wednesday should be good because I might let him know what I'm thinking about uh, writing for that particular piece. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been great just to just to be part of what feels like you know being a part of communities again. I think it's been missing from my life ever since Zen Garage pretty much. And um, whilst I'm still running Zen, I wouldn't say there's a community there. And it takes a lot of energy to run one. And it's nice to not be running one. It's just nice to be a part of these two communities at the moment. I'm not a moderator. I refuse to be. I don't want to be uh, any kind of admin on it at all. Um, I'm just a, a part of the community. I'm a participant. And I'm along for the ride. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. Super short this week uh really not much more on the cards but just a whole lot of photo editing for me and uh, that means music up getting in the zone and just pumping out photos uh with a great level of care of course so um hope everyone has an awesome week i shall catch you guys in the next one see yous